used to cost a nickel And a bus ride only used to cost a dime Watch a look Them days can be forgotten The world has gotten rotten Lots of luck Lots of luck Lots of luck Every day is getting tougher And it keeps on getting rougher A dollar isn't even worth the half a buck Lots of luck. 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 Houses are very pretty. Hi, Stanley. Hi, kid. Hello, Stanley. How are you? Terrible. This city is a jungle. It's a jungle. What happened, Stanley? Oh, please. The subway. Two guys were fighting. They pulled guns out and everything. Did somebody call the cops? Ma, they was cops. <laughs> well, now, I want you to be feeling good, because we got company coming for dinner. Yeah? And guess who it is? Oh, nothing doing. The last time you said, guess who's coming to dinner, it turned out to be him. <laughs> Wilma Wallachek from high school. Wilma Wa... You mean two-ton Wallachek? Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, Stanley, she was always so stuck on you because you was the only boy that never called her two-ton. Only behind her back because that's where most of her tonnage was. <laughs> Remember how proud we all was of Wilma? She was the first one in the neighborhood to join the Marines. I can't stand her. I mean, she has that laugh. Sounds like a, a, a bunch of geese flying south. Oh, oh, and that other annoying habit. She walks behind you in a hall, steps on your heels, and makes your shoes come off. And then, then if she really wants to get your attention, she plucks her hair out of your wrist. <laughs> Like someone did that with your head. Okay. Where you going, Arthur? If a fat lady's coming over for dinner, I better get something to eat now. Attention! <laughs> I hope it didn't fall on nobody. <laughs> sit down, sit down. Oh, I bet you didn't get this mink coat in the Marines. Oh, no. That was a gift from my late husband. Oh, when did your husband... I mean, how late was he? He passed away about a year ago. Oh, I'm that's so too sorry to hear, sorry to hear that, well, you know. Wilma, how old was he? 81. 81? It was one of those May-December romances. May-December? We were married in May, and he died in December. Oh, that, that's too bad. Oh. Oh, it was a good marriage, even though he was 81. When you're 81, sometimes a good marriage can kill you. <laughs> Thank you, Wilma. Oh, Wilma, there's someone I want you to meet. This here is my husband, Arthur. Oh, you have a husband. You're so fortunate. Well, there's some lingering doubts about that. You don't look like a fat lady. <laughs> Oh, oh. <laughs> nice to meet you. Hey, are them real rats? Arthur, what an uncouth question to ask our rich widow. <laughs> yes, they're real, Arthur. These are my traveling rings. I keep the larger ones in a bank vault. <gasps> a bank vault? Oh, we had a bank vault once, didn't we, Stanley? Yeah, but we didn't have no valuables, so we just kept the key in it. <laughs> Wilma, is this your first trip back to the old haunting grounds, as it were? Yes, it is. I was hoping after dinner I might take a drive around the neighborhood. 
You got a car with you? Yes, it's the Red Jaguar up in front. Oh. <laughs> say, Wilma, what do you say after dinner? Will you all take a spin in the Jag? <laughs> well, it only holds two people. Oh, well, then one of us will go with Wilma, and the rest of us will go play bingo. I wonder who would like to show me around. Oh, yeah. I wonder who. How about Stanley? <laughs> Thanks a lot. It was a swell drive, and, and thanks for walking me to the door. Good night. Maybe I'll just come in for a while, Stanley. Oh. I don't think that's a good idea. Uh, gee, my mother ain't home. I won't stay long. Oh, good. I mean, uh, I, uh, I have a very early day, and, and it's awful late. Oh, it's not that late. What time is it? Can you see? Uh, wow, that's a snazzy watch. Uh, you can't tell when there's no numbers on the face. <laughs> I, it is late. It's two rubies past an emerald. Why didn't you sit down, Stanley? Well, no, really, it's, it's awful. It's oh, a... sit down. Uh, thanks so much for asking me. <laughs> Stanley. Yeah, Wilma? Oh, well, well, well. Yeah, I got it. It's been a long time, hasn't it? Yeah, it has. You got here at six. <laughs> I mean, since we went to high school together. Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> Stanley. Yeah. I'm running my late husband's business. Oh. And I need an assistant. I see. How would you like a job in our New York office? <laughs> Me? Me a job in your New York office? I don't even know what business you're in. Oh, my husband was the president of Here Kitty Kitty Cat Food. <laughs> well, you probably saw a television commercial. Gee, I don't think I have. No, uh -huh. Oh, well, it was a cartoon of a pink cat with a jewel collar sitting on a fence singing, Kitty Kitty Cat Food is the best meow. remember if I saw it. Well, what do you say, Stanley? Oh, I don't think so. You see, uh, cats ain't exactly up my alley. <laughs> Stanley, sit. Uh, Stanley, I'd like to ask you, how are you doing financially? Oh, uh, not bad. In fact, last year, I paid the same income tax as the president. <laughs> do you earn at the lost and found? Oh, oh, uh, my take home is $162.85. $162.85 cents a week? Yeah. A and you can all live on that? Well, it ain't easy, but by cutting corners, careful budgeting, and doing without, I manage so that each week I only go 10 bucks in a hole. Suppose I said I was willing to pay you 400 400 what? $400 a week. 400 uh, are you joking? I'm quite serious. $400 a week, and that's a firm offer. A firm? $400 a week. $400 a week? Wow. What would I have to do, Wilma? You'd be an executive in training. An executive in training? What do they do? You'll be trained in all phases of our operation, from being out in the field to the paperwork. $400 to start. Can you imagine what I'll earn after I'm paper trained? Yes, Stanley. And I'm a good trainer. $400 a week. Wow. I could pay off all my bills. I could buy a colored television set. Well, Stanley, is it a deal? Oh, yeah, are you kidding? Sure, it's a deal. Tomorrow, I give my two-week notice. Oh, that's wonderful, Stanley. Thanks. Wonderful. Why don't I come by tomorrow night, take you to dinner, and we'll uh, talk things over. Tomorrow night? Dinner? You got it. You got it. Hey, thanks a lot. Hey, you're swell. Let me ask you. How come you're being so nice to me? Oh, well, you've always been very nice to me, Stanley. Oh, no. Yes. Yes? At my senior prom, when I weighed 175 pounds, I had 11 dances, and they were all with girls. Except for you. Oh, yeah, I remember. So, out of gratitude now, I want to pay you back. 
because two-ton Wallachek never forgets. <laughs> Good night, Stanley. Good night. <laughs> Come on in, Stanley. Well? This is my office? Holy cow! This is bigger than my whole house. What do you think of this, Mr. Belmont? Stanley? <laughs> it's the cat's meow. Stanley, I want you to take a look at this. Okay. Oh, it's a window, a big window. That's what I always wanted. Look at that view. Well, we're on the 30th floor. 30th? I'll be breathing air that ain't been used yet. I'm glad you like it, Stanley. Oh, I do. I like it, Wilma. Hey, listen, Wilma. I want to take this opportunity to thank you for giving me this opportunity. Oh, that's nice, Stanley. And don't worry, Wilma. Gee, I'm going to work. Hard? Oh, in fact, my middle name is going to be cat food. Oh, such a good Stanley. Yes? Okay, put them on. Excuse me, Stanley. Yes, Rogers? What? What do you mean the eight-ounce cans didn't arrive? Can I help them in? You see, they do, Buster, or I'll nail your hide to the wall. <laughs> Any excuses, you big fathead? I just want eight ounce cans. One more mistake like that, and you're fired. What a jerk. These are details you'll be handling. You mean I gotta fire Rogers? Oh, this is a competitive business, Stanley. It's dog eat dog. There are 34 million cats out there, and I want to feed all of them. Yeah, so do I. Oh, good. When do I stop being competitive, Wilma? Oh, this is just your first day, Stanley. Oh, oh I want wow. you to get a feel of the office. <laughs> and if you need anything, just buzz your secretary. My what? Your secretary, Miss Balch. Miss Balch? Yes, Balch. She's very efficient. Well, she better be because I'm after them cats. Good. <laughs> And maybe we'll go to dinner tonight at 21. Again the 21? You got it. <laughs> <laughs> Good. How about seven-ish? Seven-ish, eight-ish, six-ish, whatever-ish, you want-ish. <laughs> hey, you're the boss. <laughs> I don't want you to think of me just as a boss. Ah, I don't, I don't. I, I, I think you was one of the guys. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Oh, wow. Oh, 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 Now, what can I do with five pieces of blank paper? <laughs> I made a pen. Hello, lost and found Belmont. Uh, no. Hello. Yeah, hello? Excuse me, Mr. Belmont. Uh, oh, Miss Balch, I presume? Yes, sir. Did you buzz me, Mr. Belmont? Yes, I did buzz you, Miss Balch. Did you buzz me? Yes. I guess we bolts each other, Miss Buzz. I just buzzed to see if you wanted anything. Could you take a letter? Oh, yes, sir. Okay. Uh, this is going to Mr. Rogers. Uh, which Mr. Rogers? Uh, the Mr. Rogers of the eight-ounce cans, Mr. Rogers. Dear Mr. Rogers. Dear Mr. Rogers, uh, if you don't shape up, I'm going to nail your hide to the wall. <laughs> Sincerely yours, et cetera, et cetera. Yes, sir. I'll just type this up and bring it in for your signature. Oh, I ain't going to sign it. <laughs> just uh, send it out incognito, okay? Yes, sir. Will there be anything else? No, that's okay, Miss Balch. Oh, yeah, just a moment, Miss Balch. 
Uh, would you do me a favor, please, and uh, put this in my personal file? Yes. Thank you, Miss Balch. Hi, can I come in? Do you have an appointment? Oh, that's okay, Miss Balch. Uh, I'll make room in my schedule for Mr. Fitzer. Yes. Thank you, Miss Balch. Come in, Mr. Fitzer. <laughs> no. Mr. Fitzer. Hey, what am I going to call you? This is such a fancy office. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. Hey, hey, hey. Hi, Bobby. <laughs> I just come up to see what your place was like so I could tell the fellas back at the bus company. What? Boy. Hey. Yeah, this is all yours? Sure. Hey, the cat food business must be pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Sit in that chair. Go ahead. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> hey, Tommy. Yeah. A window, huh? Look at that. You want to see a great view? You can see all the traffic backed up on the George Washington Bridge. You want a different view? You look over here. You see all the traffic backed up on 159th Street. Wow. That's all inspiring. I know. Hey, you got your own couch, too, huh? Oh, yeah. You know, in case I want to have a cat nap. <laughs> <laughs> What's this? Hey, you got your own private one. Look at that. Hey, oh, I don't have to go down the hall no more. <laughs> Look at these lights. Oh, oh, I think I broke some. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy, I didn't even know I had that. Your own bar. Yeah. Hey, you're a real executive. <laughs> I know, I know. Hey, what's your job going to be like exactly? Oh, I... I'll tell you, my duties ain't been clearly defined. But tonight, Wilma and me are going to have a big meeting at the 21. 21? Fancy. Oh, you don't understand. These are business dinners. They don't cost nothing. What do you mean? Well, when you're worth a lot of money, the government lets you deduct all these things from your income taxes. Things like dinners, theater tickets... Gifts, trips. No kidding. Sure. The way it works out, the richer you are, the less it costs you to live. <laughs> I'd like to get on something like that. Hey, I got plans. Are you kidding? All I got to do is get settled. Then I'm going to need some underlings, right? And who better than my best friend to be my first underling? Hey, thanks, man. <laughs> hey, listen, Bummy. <coughs> Why don't you hang around and let the government buy your lunch? <laughs> Gee, I like this camp. I gotta go. I'll be late for my first run. Oh, yeah. Me too. I'm busy. Up to my neck, you know. Hey, bum, you want to tell my secretary to bring in my personal file, please? Sure thing, Mr. Delmont. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what do you say so now we go bowling, huh? Unless you big shots don't stoop so low as the bowl. Get out of here. Get <laughs> out of here. <laughs> oh, you pull it. You pull it. I'll see you soon. Okay. Stand. Thank you, Mr. Fitzer. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Fitzer. <laughs> kitty, kitty, cat food is the best. Meow, meow. Kitty, kitty, cat food is the... Oh, that's a disgusting sort. I'm going to take that up at the next board meeting. Here you are. Oh. I have two beers. Jeez, it's only 10 o'clock. It's too early to have a drink. Hey, I'm an executive. If I want to have a drink, I can have a drink. Right? Right. Am I talking to myself? Yes, I'm talking to myself. Look at this. I'm an executive. 10 minutes. Already I'm an alcoholic. Six o'clock. Oh, we're putting in half a day. Hey, Miss Balch. Well, uh, uh, good night. That's fine. Tomorrow, we'll plunge in ahead again. Yes. Okay. Uh, good night, Miss Balch. Oh, Miss Balch. Hi, Wilma. How was your first day, Stanley? Not bad, not bad. My personal file is bulging. <laughs> I'm so glad. Isn't that beautiful at night, Stanley? Oh, yeah. It's such a... Romantic view. 
Oh, yeah, right. Listen, I feel like I'm on top of the world. <laughs> well, Stanley, sometimes it can get a little lonely at the top. Well, if it gets too lonely at the top, I'll just go downstairs, sit in the lobby and mingle. <laughs> you know, Stanley, you look wonderful sitting in my husband's chair. This was your husband's chair? Gee, doesn't look that old. <laughs> you know, Stan, I have a feeling one day you could become vice president. Wow, vice president. <laughs> Why not? You have all the qualities. Sincerity, integrity, honesty. You know, I almost forgot those are the qualities for a vice president. <laughs> And that's just the beginning, Stanley. I have a feeling someday you could become a partner. A partner? Oh, ain't that something? Vice President a partner. That ain't such a big step. <laughs> Don't worry. Let me tell you something. I'm going to work really hard. Every can of kitten cat cat food is going to have a little bit of Stanley Belmont in it. Well, save the good parts for me, Stanley. <laughs> to become a partner right away a partner right away no kidding how would i do that wilma the same way i did by marrying into the business by marrying into the <laughs> you mean you and me that's right stanley oh no wait a second i mean that puts a different light on everything why well i thought you hired me for my brains not my body <laughs> What's wrong with our being married? Well, ooh, uh, I'm too young for you. <gasps> what do you mean? Well, your last husband was 81. <laughs> I'm only 37. Don't be a fool, Stanley. I'm the dream of every red-blooded American boy. I'm a wealthy widow. Well, don't get me wrong. I like you. Gee, I liked you when you were fat, remember? I'm the kind of guy... Look. I'm still waiting to meet that certain girl. When we meet, I'm going to hear the music from Love Story. Stanley, I'm rich. I'll hire a band and they'll play it for you. Oh, no, wait, listen, Will, Will, really, I'm going to pass this time. Don't you, run away, Stanley. Will, please, brother. Somebody will see us. On the 30th floor, who? King Kong? Will, Listen, please, this is wrong. I got too much respect for you. I got all the respect I can use. What I want is a little action. Wilma, remember, you're a widow. Yes, I know, and now I want to lie. Please accept my resignation. Uh, Stanley, Stanley, hurry up, you're going to be late. I know, I'm coming, I'm coming. Now, what have you been doing? I was looking for my uniform. You had it in the trunk already. Stanley, how was we supposed to know you was through with the lost and found? Yeah, you had a chance to make something of yourself and you blew it. You're lucky you got your job back. No, Arthur, you're lucky I got my job back. Well, I think Stanley was right in turning down Wilma. It's like Pop always used to say, if a man marries for money, he'll regret it till the day he dies. Worse than that, Ma. If I married Wilma, I would have died with a bald wrist. <laughs> Think you've seen everything on your favorite show? Ever notice how our antenna TV characters live near one another? Looks like the partridges live down the street from a witch and a genie. And a certain genie lives near a menace named Dennis. But don't worry, Hazel is nearby to clean up any mess. That's because these shows were all shot on the same studio lot in Burbank, California. Take a closer look at Antenna TV. Antenna TV. That sounded great. TV, how it was meant.